Kensington. I'm on the music and sound production pathway, um, and my project is looking at how music and sound effects in film can be blended together to blur the boundaries through the use of electroacoustic uh, bridges. My project looks at uh, blending music and sound effects in film. So to do this, I picked five different clips of film, and I created uh, the sound effects for those clips. And then I used the audio of those sound effects, um, and I did stuff like time stretching them. I used granular synthesis uh, to make musical content for those bits of film. Uh, the reason I did this was because I wanted to look at creating a soundtrack where it wasn't totally obvious what the music part was, so the audiences weren't drawn away by uh, something like an orchestral score, where we obviously know it's not part of the film, and it makes us, well, it reminds us that um, we're not uh, in the environment that we're watching a film. So. In the literature review we looked at opportunities to affect what was already in place, so I looked at um, how environmental sounds can contribute to what we know even though we can't see what's going on, such as a dog barking somewhere off screen, um, and it just opened up opportunities for blending the two together. So I completed the project in Ableton Live, um, this was all, so I did each clip soundtrack in one session file, so I could see uh, opportunities to blend sound effects into music. Um, I also use some third party software such as Cecilia, um, which is very good for time stretching and granular synthesis. Um, and these are tools that are used. <coughs> these are tools that are used by um, practitioners in the electroacoustic field. So the soundtracks I created were varying in success. Uh, some of them, it wasn't very obvious what I'd intended to be musical sound and that could mean that it didn't really have an effect on the audience. Um, but in other soundtracks it was really effective, especially ones with a science fiction setting. Um, they gave lots of opportunities for sound to confuse the audience and make them more alert. I explored lots of the ideas um, in my literature review quite successfully, especially the idea of um, literal sound becoming emotive sound, which is this whole idea of an everyday sound that we might not perceive in any way becoming a sound that means something so much more. Um, one example would be the sound of a ventilation door opening becoming a lot more sinister sound and it keeps us on edge throughout the course of the clip. So in the end um, I was left with 15 minutes worth of film that I'd created the entire soundtrack for. Um, this was a lot of work but in the end I was quite proud of this. Um, not all of the soundtrack is successful but in it I think I can see the ways in which my idea could be used in a final production across a longer piece of film. Um, so it was very interesting to bring to life the ideas that I'd read about in the literature review. So the best bit of the project for me was doing some of the Foley effects for the the clips, so at times I was recording myself breaking crackers or making strange sounds into the microphone to make the sound of an alien effect, so there was also fun to be had in the sound effects of the film. It was also just interesting to uh, look for opportunities, so I'd, I'd found sounds that certain types of sounds had worked better as musical elements, um, and it was really fun to play around with those and try and get the most before they started to uh, break immersion from the film. Going into the project, I hadn't had a huge amount of experience putting sound effects on film, so creating an entire soundtrack for the film was a new experience, and I learned lots about recording sound effects, I learned lots about uh, aligning them, and also layering sounds, applying effects like pitching to the sound effects, so all of this was new to me.